Welcome to Rika Subtest 3 online test preparation course presented by RikaTest.com. All right, the goal of instruction is to support every student to meet the standard created by the California State Board of Education for the subject that the teacher is teaching. Now, understand that a standard is the learning goal for what students should know and be able to do at the end of each grade level. Standards are not curriculum, which are chosen by the local communities and the educators and the administrators who actually teach or facilitate the school for the curriculum. Now, the curriculum is the lesson plan for the day-to-day -day teaching. Stating that you will use a balanced and comprehensive reading program on your RECA essay is crucial. Let's go over the meanings of these now. A balanced instruction teaches reading, writing, listening, and research skills. Comprehensive instruction uses the four key components from the balanced instruction to implement the gradual release of responsibility instructional strategy, which is a short series of lessons where the first lesson, the teacher models the activity using think alouds while the children watch and observe. And then in the second lesson, the teacher splits the responsibility of completing the task with the students. So that means the teacher and the students, they complete the task together. Then in the third lesson, the teacher releases the responsibility to the students to complete the task independently in order to demonstrate which students have mastered the skill that's being taught. A core principle of reading instruction is that teachers design instruction based on students' assessment results. The RECA test scorers will want to see that the instruction that you aim to provide is both systematic and explicit. Systematic means that if a child's assessment indicates he or she has mastered the skill being taught, the teacher will design the next instruction to build on and extend that student's knowledge and understanding of the topic. If, on the other hand, the student's assessment indicates that the student has not yet met the standard, the teacher will design the next lesson to support and reteach the skill being taught for this particular student and the other students whose assessment shows the same need too. According to the RECA test content specifications, teachers who practice systematic and explicit instruction use the following techniques. The teacher has a list of the exact content standards that need to be mastered, as well as the ones that have already been taught. This teacher will also understand which students have demonstrated mastery of that standard using individual student profiles, as well as creating a collective class profile. As a principle of the systematic and explicit instruction, the RECA test scorers will want to see that you use small group instruction. Next, we have differentiated instruction, which is when the teacher makes instructional adjustments to meet the needs of each student. For example, if a student struggles to comprehend a topic, allow the student additional time and support using a scaffold, such as a graphic organizer, for example. Teachers will work throughout the year to complete instructional planning. This includes short-term planning and long-term planning. Teachers use the short-term planning to discuss topics to teach for the following week or the next unit. Teachers use long-term planning to create broad outlines of units for the semester or even the year. Both short and long-term planning leads to daily evidence-based instruction. Feeling nervous about taking your RECA test? Click the link in the description below, get full access to this RECA test prep course, and start feeling 
prepared for testing.